Hello guys, what is up? This is Galant to go and welcome to this Pokemon Heart Gold version Eggwalk. And you guys are probably wondering, what the hell? He's showing his face. Galant to go and he's showing his face. What's going on? A face cam? What is this series? What is going on? Is this a one type of episode type of thing? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No, guys, this is something actually completely different. Oh my god, I'm wearing my t shirt. Oh my god, I can only do it with one hand because if I put my DS down, it will probably crash. But yeah, I am using a, a DS and, uh, the worst part about using a DS is that it may crash since I'm using an action replay to use the quick egg hatch code. Now, I can't take the items off your guys' Pokemon because it seems to always crash whenever I try to do so because some of you guys probably did something wrong or something like along those lines and I'm hoping that it won't cause this game to freeze at any points, but... Unfortunately, I cannot take your guys' eggs off the Pokemon, but that's okay because without you guys, this series would not be possible. So, unfortunately, this is probably a roll since it does have a Dawn, so I really do want to use a Galade, but I don't think I can because of uh, reasons, which really, really, really sucks. But, yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do that. But, anyways, let's just see what we can uh, get. I am doing a Heart Gold Egg Lock, so we have our starter already. I'm in Cherry Grove just because I want to save all of you guys the trouble of watching through a uh, series and having to see all this crap from the beginning. You've already seen about 10 million in one time. So anyways, so many Japanese names. I don't know what you guys were doing with the nicknames, but you know what, it's whatever. Um, I, I have to just see what kind of Pokemon these are, what the type of uh, items they have. I mean, the TM14, you know, oh my god, I want TM14. <laughs> um, Let's see though. Let's see. There's there's some cool stuff. I'm gonna use Cassius now. If anybody sent this in, let me know, and I'll definitely give a nice little look into it. But uh, Cassius with two S's and an S at the end. So let's see what this thing is gonna be. And the uh, quick egg catch code does not work for this egg. That is uh quite demoralizing. Some eggs are like that, unfortunately. Or maybe I just fucked up with the code. I don't know. But it took it didn't really take that long to hatch. And let's see what it's going to be. First egg hype, guys. First egg hype, and it's going to be a hey, Tyrogue. Wow. That's actually very unique. Cassius the Tyrogue. That will be the name. Wow, okay. So let's hope this thing is legal, because uh, some people did not really send in the legal stuff, but let's see how things go on this. Cassius the Tyrogue. I'm sorry if the uh, sound quality isn't that great, but I can't really do too much about that since this is a DS capture card. Very absolute stuff. And uh, yes, I do have the rare candies over here. You know I pump that shit up. I actually did that in Pokegen instead. Let's bring this thing up to level 5, and I'm just so happy. This thing has not run out of 999. Wow. Well, damn. Okay. I mean, this is uh, cool stuff. Does it not run out? So I'm always gonna have 999 rare candies. That's pretty cool. And also, we got the potions up in here. We're pumping out shit like no other. And it's pretty damn awesome to be doing this on the DS. Not gonna lie, it's a lot more comfortable. I don't have the temptation to use a speed up button. And I just wanna enjoy this game, really. I wanna take it one step at a time. So let's just box this beautiful, beautiful Cyndaquil for this Tyrogue that you guys sent. And uh, we'll be underway after that, pretty much. I'm just gonna put the uh, Cyndaquil over here. Cyndaquil! It's so cute. I love this thing so much. But uh, unfortunately, we will not be using it. Uh, let's see this thing, though. Holy shit! We have Fake Up, Mock Punch, High Jump Kick, and Tackle? Are you kidding? Wow, this is adamant to you, Cassius. Cassius, whatever your name is. God damn! Wow, okay, so we got a Tyrogue up in this, and that is really awesome. I'm not even gonna lie, that's awesome. I love this thing. Alright, so let's hope everything does work out fine. I have not really tested it up to this point, and whatnot. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it! The guy Jen loaded to the map cut of Great Creates Pokemon. Yes, I didn't I didn't have my person egg yet because Elliot Eki, you gotta like the plan words. You see the map of the region, you're currently in the poker card because more useful in your ad cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Peace out. That man my man runs faster than I can, and I'm in my fucking youth. I don't ha I do not have Pokeballs at the moment, so these routes will not count. But um let, let's see what we're gonna find anyways. I mean probably gonna find some, you know, just typical ass crap, but let's use this tire. Let's see how these are gonna go with this little thing and uh PP is all fucked up on this as well. I'm saying a 10 out of 20 whenever I've never even used it. Alright. The good thing nothing fucked up there. I'm, I'm glad nothing really did fuck up there. Let's see how fake out. Oh my god, that does beast amount of damage. 
Wow, Mach Punch will definitely kill this thing up. This is just an ultimate combo. Fake out, then Mach Punch destroys everything. That is OP as fuck. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, let's just, um, so I don't have to hold B every second. I just want to just get through this game. I want to play it and stuff. This game is just amazing. I do still like Crystal more than this game because, I don't know, I'm just that type of person to like the originals more than the remakes. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, however, is my uh, favorite. So, um, my, my favorite of the remakes. So, there goes that. I do like that better than Ruby and Sapphire. And I hope you guys are enjoying the little face cam over here. I don't really know how you guys are going to like it. I'm going to make that the question of the day. Do you guys like the face cam or do you guys prefer non face cam? I want to know that because the lighting in my room is terrible. This is another reason why I don't want to do it. Also, the giant glare on my glasses. That's the other reason. I tried to play out the settings also and see if I could really um, make anything out of it. Make it look at least a little better than it does right now. But unfortunately, I couldn't really do too much. We find another Pidgey over here. And how bad would it be if I find a shiny whenever I couldn't even catch? Like, how shitty would that? That'd be the worst thing in the world. But anyways, I'm just gonna kill. I'm just gonna kill some birds because why not? I know a mock punch did not kill from this range, so let's just high jump kick. Hopefully it doesn't miss. If it does, then I am fucked. <laughs> I already lost the freaking lock if I if I uh, miss a high jump kick, but I know I'm not gonna miss it. So let's just kill the little Pidgey, kill some birds with some kicks, and uh, now we're underway to uh, Mr. Pokemon's area. And um, let's just see how these are gonna go. There's some apricorns over here. Apricorns are kind of just whatever. I don't care. I liked it better whenever that berries like in the first route or whatever back in the originals. But anyways, here's Mr. Pokemon. You must be angry! I was who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Like, he, he, he runs there and then he takes a sweet ass time to come over here. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And then we got the mystery egg. We already know what the mystery egg is going to be all about. We already know. A friend of mine from Akrati gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell you more about it. Yeah, yeah, yada, 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 Oh, shit, you just healed me with a one-up. Holy crap. Okay, so now, Professor Oak, we can already tell he's going to be taking his PS. Name is old. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. You saw your egg yet. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running on an errands for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think you understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. He didn't. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cash just sent me that for your information. You'll treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. And, uh, ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a rare high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. So we get the, we get the Pokedex. Uh, I really have never used, like, you know, back in the day, back like in, you know, second, third gen and stuff, I used to always, and that's so unfortunate also, I used to use this, but then once like, like Park Gold came on the black and white, and then X and Y, I never used it in X and Y, like, it was a joke back in X and Y, so, I don't know, like, over time I really just developed to not really use it much, but anyways, we got a nice little call from Professor Elm, once we jump out of the lab, and not really the lab, an area, hello, <laughs> look, it's a disaster! It's just terrible! What should I do? It... Oh, no! Please get back to me or else I will cry my eyes out because I am a fussy. Professor Elm is one of like, the worst freaking um, professors of all time. I'm not even going to lie. But uh, hey, we got another Pidgey over here. It just, uh, it's just swarming with Pidgeys. I don't know what's going on, guys. Pidgeys are everywhere. Pidgeys are taking over lives. And uh, it's kind of worrying, honestly. It's kind of worrisome, but... uh. Whenever we get this beautiful, 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 beautiful Tyrog, nothing can really be, um, shamed. It's just so awesome. I love this thing. And really, I could just use two mock punches since I don't even outspeed level 4 Pidgey, but it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Technically, the lock hasn't really started yet because we didn't even get the Pokeballs. I think that's whenever the lock really starts, whenever we get the Pokeballs. So if I lose to this rival, who cares? Because honestly, it hasn't even started yet. That's, that's just my, um, that's just my two cents on it. And I'm kind of wondering, um, I did use the randomizer to make it so all trade evolutions turn off and that moves are a little updated on, um, you know, certain attacks. So is tackle 50? I don't know. Would it be 50? I mean, I also updated the moves, so, um, you know, tackle would be 50 and 100 accuracy. But, um, maybe, like, it's, maybe, like, uh, it is like that, but it doesn't show it like that. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know if that even works. Is there universal randomizer to do that? Nothing else is randomized except for trade evolutions. Uh, being turned off, so let's say I get a much up. I can actually um, use it. It's gonna be pretty cool. 
I did forget to heal, unfortunately, but uh, it's all good. You got a Pokemon in the lab. What a waste. I didn't, though. I mean, I did, but I traded it in. Well, as you know, that's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. I'm not my little Jinji. So if you lose this, like, does it, like, make you, like, restart the whole entire game, or what? Like, I never lost to him, so I don't really know the answer to that, but, uh, or does it just continue after he's like, yeah, I'm the best, fuck you, and shit like that. Who knows? By the way, we're going against this little piece of shit. We're gonna use Fake, because uh, we're OP like that. We're OP. We're OP as fuck, and, uh, we're probably faster than this thing, too, so I'm just, I may just use High Jump Kick, but I don't now wanna, I don't, I don't really wanna take the chance of that missing, so two of my punches should kill this thing anyways. That's not gonna even gonna kill it. Well, I'm still not going to use High Jump Kick, because that's just completely, um, just scary. <laughs> I do not want to risk that, honestly. So Scratch is going to do a butt load, not going to lie. That did a lot. Okay, cool. It doesn't even matter, though, because one more Mach Punch will do the trick. Goodbye, Totodile! Honestly, I love Totodile. Totodile is one of my favorites, and I just, it's great. I, I just love using it and whatnot. It's just a great Pokemon. For Alligator is wonderful. Typhlosion is my favorite Pokemon of all time, so yeah. And since I do have a uh, face come, I can do stuff like this. Well, Shinx just died. Have a little cynical plushie. Oh my god, it's so cute! But yeah, um, he's going like da da da. That's like, that's Red, that's Red Skullion. What the fuck? He's still in Red's line for bitch! Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Not with that attitude or not. Hello? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name. I actually didn't. Like, honestly, like, I don't know what the fuck his real name is. What is it, like, Jinji? <laughs> I'm gonna name him Jinji. I don't give a fuck. I'm naming him Jinji. But, um, that's besides the point. We're gonna get a lot more routes in this episode. I just remembered. Oh my god, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be wonderful. And I'm really happy that I ended up, um, that I ended up, um, hatching this Pokemon, even though I didn't have the quick egg hatch thing on it. Because some, some of them are gonna be like that. They're not gonna really gonna hatch, like, on the first step. I don't know why that happens, but anyways. Who are you? We are investigating this case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my. So you must be the one who did it? Bruh. What the fuck are you saying? Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What the fuck? What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Nah. I did not get his name. Sorry. I was gonna name him Jinji, cause, you know, it's just like a funny fucking name to name him. If I named him like George, that'd be pretty funny too, but nah, I'm gonna name him Jinji. Jinji, 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 Jinji. I'm weird as fuck right now. Okay, I see, so Jinji was his name. Oh, yeah, I know it, Jinji. Jinji, Benji, Benji, Benji. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for his little red-haired individual. Alright, see you later, fella. Again, I'm glad that you understand you were innocent. See you later, alligator. So I remember back in Crystal, whenever you... Uh, I remember, like, Professor Elmer, like, taught you around this point... But he wouldn't talk to you again where he would jump back like that and be like, Oh my god, my streak! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! And whatnot. And, you know, if you didn't talk to him, then you couldn't, like, you couldn't progress. Like, I don't understand why they didn't force into the dialogue that they do in this game. But, um, I remember I used to always forget to talk to him again. Because I would never read the dialogue back then. I wouldn't really do anything back then, so... I didn't really know what I was doing wrong. I was like, holy shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? But, um, now I do read the dialogue a decent amount, and... You know, you do, you do miss a lot whenever you don't read the dialogue. You really do miss the, the important key like components of the actual game itself. But anyways, we're gonna be forced into learning how to catch a Pokemon over here, which is just a complete waste of time. Like I don't need to know how to do this. I've been playing Pokemon since I was like three or four years old. I don't need to know this shit, man. Look at me, I'm a grown adult now. Not really, but still, I'm a teenager, man. I don't need to know this shit. But um, we're gonna be we're gonna be forced upon anyways, which is just a complete and waste of time. And I would speed it up. This would be the perfect time where I can just go, like, space bar. But I can't. I can't do that because I can't. I'm playing on a DS, man. I'm playing on a DS. I'm playing along with you guys. You guys should be playing along with me. And it's pretty cool to be doing this, all this, like, an egg lock on an actual console instead of, like, an emulator. Because I hate, I hate, and I mean, I hate using emulators just because 
it just takes away from the actual fun. It takes away from the actual point of doing this. And then being able to just play on a beautiful little DS that I have. And I've been having this thing laying around here for fucking ages. It's about time I take a little bit of advantage over it and uh, actually use it a little bit and have fun with it, really. But anyways, Rattat is about to be caught. And it's just inevitable. This thing doesn't even have to be damaged much to get caught. But yeah. I'm just looking at my phone right now. I'm just like, oh my god, there's so many little notifications that I don't care about. Because I'll look at that later because they're not really important. And, um... See, just like that, it's better to be leading up to lower your target's poker HP than I did. But I'm a little pussy and I'm just, I'm just ready to get you over there and fuck you right in the pussy, even though I got the pussy. Maybe. But anyways, um, we got the Pokeballs, I'm pretty sure, did we? You got five. No, we got five. This is an Aura, so we don't get like fucking like a jip, like five million fucking items in the first second of the game. We have to actually wait for that kind of stuff. So anyways, here's the Sentret, and so we're kind of low on health. I should really heal uh, next opportunity I can. Man. I think I does a lot more than I wanted to, but uh, that should be enough to be able to catch this thing. So that's pretty cool fake out. It's a beautiful, beautiful move just to catch the Pokemon. If we have False Swipe, that'd be even better. But it's all good. False Swipe is only used for catching Pokemon anyways. And um, you may have to damage it a little more. So it's a Stab Scratch, and let's just heal up. Because, you know, in, this, in these games, a critical hit actually doubles up the power compared to X and Y and Oras. So... We gotta heal up. We got. We can't. We can't. We can't lose this lock to a fucking crit scratch from a century at level three. Like that would just be pathetic, in every sense of the word. Let's just use tackle. Hopefully, it doesn't kill it. I'm hoping it doesn't. So that's. Uh, I don't know. Let's just use another pokeball. Get it over with. Get in the fucking ball, you f stupid squirrel thing. I don't even know what you are. Weird looking piece of crap. There we go. You got on the ball. You listened to me. You listened, and I'm glad that you did listen. Because if you didn't, there would be consequences. I mean, just the biggest fine line of consequences. I don't need to really name these Pokemon because I'm going to have to um, overwrite them anyways. Now let me just well, let's just run through. I don't need to heal because I'm just gonna run away from everything else I uh, find. No need to get any more. Um, no need to waste any more of my time, really. And of course, there's a shiny quad. So if I do end up finding a shiny, you know I'm gonna be able to catch this thing. I mean, you know I'm gonna be able to catch it, and I'm gonna love it forever, endeavor, 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 like the move endeavor. Now, is this, there's an item up here. There, up, yeah. So many wild encounters, but it's so okay because I love this game. Fuck everyone who doesn't. My punch should be a one hit shot, come on, it has to be a one kick call. There we go. Alright. That's the plan. Now I always get interrupted. I mean, what's new in life? What's new in anything in life? Whenever I don't get interrupted in recording. And whenever it's a face cam, it's like a jillion times harder to adjust like this is gonna be a lot more editing for me and I'm just bitching at this point I'm bitching upon bitching upon bitch made of bitching but yeah I did one shot it but I did have to go like mute talk mute talk mute talk in the fucking first episode which sucks but what can you do really you can't reverse time and you can't do anything else and we find another sentry and hello sentry to you stupid 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 sandy squirrel even though you're male, so you're not really sandy. Why aren't you female? Fucking get- let me get out of the grass first! Come on! Even though you, even though you can't uh, attack me out of the grass, but that's the point. Come on, man, let me out! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! What are you looking at, you little badass? Okay. Let me get out! Like, I don't have time for this, man. I just wanna... But this is where the speed up button would be, like, the best. Like, so much speeding up. I wonder how many... I wonder how, I wonder how much the Fortune Gamer has been speeding up. Let me know in the comments section below. Because I don't really know up to this point how much has he been speeding up in his playthrough. Because I'm kind of scared. That man speeds up about every second of his life. He's probably, like, ten light years ahead of me at this point of the game. 
But anyways, let's see what we can buy. We can buy Pokeballs here, which is actually bueno as hell. Um, let's get seven of them, just so we have a bond of twelve. Um, not twelve, ten. I can't count. I just like to have the even numbers. The even numbers are the good numbers. We'll play. Jesus, that hiccup just kind of killed me in every sense of the word. Holy balls. But yeah, we do have a Sentry, and we have one more route that we can get a Pokemon at. And then once we hatch the two Pokemon, we can call it quits, and we can call it an episode, we can call it Ball Sack Noodles. Not that part, of course. But we got a nice little Pidgey over here, and I think one fake god should do the trick of being able to catch this thing at one little Pokeball. If it doesn't, then I don't know what the hell is wrong with the Pokeball accuracy. Percentage or whatever. So let's just catch this thing, see how life heads for us. And if you're wondering how I'm playing Pokemon like this while my DS is down there, there's a screen over there that's showing me everything. Right over there. So I can look at the screen. I don't have to look down. It's just it's just a perfect thing. And then if we're doing like uh, let's say the using the emulator, then I have to like look over there at all costs, and then I have to like click the keyboard over here instead of just being able to like hold the DS down here. It's just like Perfect like alignment. I love it. It's just amazing and I can just I can do the same exact little procedure if I'm doing like a 3ds Let's play which is just awesome. Like I may not even use emulation anymore if this is how it works like, This is so nice. There's no crashing. There's no like there's no like just Weird bugs and there's no like black spots all over like if you watch let's players they use emulators It looks all bugged out, but um you know, opening up bags is probably the most scary thing because I don't know how these are gonna work. This is definitely a grammar, I don't want to open it. Um I used a grammar in my let's play one day. Like I I've never used a grammar yet. I I just reluctant to do so and for whatever reason. Appliance. So there's no Klefki. So what kind of appliance would this be? Let's try it out. What kind of appliance will this be? So we got two, one level two, one level three. Um, should I use mats? I'll I'll keep mats for later. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up mats now. Matt, Mister Soratem, please. He is the man, the myth, the legend over there. A really great viewer of mine. I'm just gonna pick two eggs forever. The rave appliance, and we have a Sora's. So um, which one is gonna be Sora? So the egg hatch code does, does work. Was just that one egg that had the little fall to it, but it did take about ten steps. So it doesn't even matter. A Rotom. Okay. That is cool. And I'm naming this thing Luke because why the fuck would I call it anything else but Luke? Mr. Game Boy Luke himself. And um you know, he's just he's just the kitchen appliance apparently. Or he's just in the trash. Just kidding. Um That's cool. I kinda forget this thing was even a fortune Pokemon, so I was kinda like is my game bugged out or something? Because some people have a feeling did send me like 5th gen Pokemon or something like that. I don't know how that would uh, interact with this game. We got Treco over here. So I already know this one's Mats. I already know this one is Sora's. So, yeah. Because this favorite Pokemon is uh, Grovile, I do believe. So, that's cool. I'm going to name it Sora just for his sake. I would name it Map. But that could be just be... That's just, that could just mean so many people like Sora. They can mean like Pixel Deluxe Ray. It can mean like just... I know too many Mats. Too many... Like... Too many mats. Really, it's crazy how many mats I know, like in real life and on the internet. So, let's just name it Sora, because, you know, this is totally Kingdom Hearts character. And, um, call it a nice little day. Um, uh, we'll level up the Pokemon. I do actually want to see what the Amu set for these Pokemon are. So, I'm going to make Luke level 3. I'm going to make Trika level 2. Too bad Trika will not have its Mega Evolution in this game. This is the wrong remake to have a Trico in, but it still does work fine and dandy. Since. I don't know, I, I like, I like a Trico. I mean, it's a good Pokemon after Gen 3. Because Gen 3 has the by far the worst moveset of all time, so yeah. Um, let's see this thing, though. Astonish Thundershock. Let's see, what's, what it says, so what is its uh, nature? Timid, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So this thing's a fast little motherfucker. Huh. Leaf Storm, Bullet Sea, Crunch, and Dragon Breath? <gasps> oh, shit. <gasps> oh, Lord Almighty. We have a fucking squad over here. Holy shit. Wow. The power was sent through our way. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. So, we have two special attackers, and then we got a complete and utter... Physical beast. 
Oh lord almighty, I am so hyped for this. Oh my goodness. Let's just heal up and let's just call it the quits because I am going nuts right over here. Holy shit. That's power. That's not even fair. Like that's not even fair at all. My question is, can we uh, make a can we make Rotom an actual appliance in this game? I do not know. Let me make that like the next uh, questions uh, question of the day or something. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold deck. Like, if you did enjoy, drop a like and drop a comment. I reply to all comments, whether it's a question, whether it's a question of the day, whether it's whatever you were commenting about. If you're enjoying this series so far, well, you're going to be enjoying it a lot more in the future. Obviously, episode one is great, but episode, the next episodes are going to have a lot more to it. By any means, so let's just end off this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all later. Peace.